my phone and I checked my Facebook and like so many of us do, I just looked at the comments when it's hot here in Palm Springs. Sorry. Ugh, I need a little air. Just pulled over to do this. I was looked at my Facebook. I saw boom, one, two, three in a row post on Desert Women AA. And I pulled over. I, I got in the car and I started driving and I thought, wait, I'm gonna I'm gonna say something here. Desperate posts. Women saying, I am done. I have started over and over and over and over again. I will never drink again, in all caps. I will never drink again. And then the next woman, I need help. Please help me. Um, it's hot, sorry. Um, you know, all, all, three in a row, and there's more. But those first three, just right away. And I thought, oh my God, you know, so many people are suffering. And I think... The, this is the problem though. This is, this is the situation. I'm going to try to really explain it to you simply. If you're not getting sober, it might be because you don't know what's wrong with you. Okay? Like the person who said, I will never drink again. Do you know how many times I've said that? If I could say that and do it, I wouldn't be an AA. I wouldn't be going to meetings. I wouldn't be helping, right? I would just stay sober. So... I get it. I get it. There's desperation there. So let me just tell you like in a very simple way what is going on here. A lot of people think that this is a willpower. If you love me enough, you would stop. Discipline issue. You're trying to quit drinking. The drinking and drugs are ruining your life. Right? If I could just quit drinking, everything will be okay. Okay? It's not a willpower issue. It's not. It is a mental health issue. Mental health. The alcohol, the drugs, whatever, is a symptom to the problem. Right? It's actually the answer to the problem. That's how you're treating your mental health, is drinking. You have to change the way you're treating your mental health. You can't just stop, right? Because your mental health will go untreated. Alcoholism is a mental illness. It demands to be treated. I'm not surprised you keep drinking again. You do not have an adequate, adequate substitute, okay? That's why this page exists. That's why AA women exist. That's why Alcoholics Anonymous exists. We alone cannot quit drinking. It is not, it's not a society issue. It's not a willpower, if I was better, I'm a loser, I can't do anything, problem. That's not what it is. It's a mental health issue. That's why you go to behavioral health to get go to treatment. Mental health people help you. It's one thing to quit, but why do you keep picking up? If the thing you want most in your life is to quit drinking, and you quit drinking 3,452 times, why do you keep picking up? That's what you need to ask yourself. It's not why am I drinking? I know why you're drinking. You're treating your mental illness. That's why you keep picking up. You need to ask yourself a different question. Why do I keep picking up? When I have four or five days sober, or 45 days sober, or four to five months sober, or four to five years sober, what could ever make me pick up a drink again? I'm stone cold sober when I make that decision. It's not the booze and the alcohol that's making the decision. It's this. It's the alcoholism. Okay? That's why you can't quit. Now, I know that that doesn't help you in this moment, but that should be a relief to you. You're not, you know, if you're sitting there, well, I'm crazy. You are crazy. Right? You have mental health issues. Alcoholism is a mental health issue. It is a disease. You have... It's not your fault you have it. It's your responsibility to treat it. Now that you know that, you can see why you keep drinking. You also no, 
know what to do about it. You go to Alcoholics Anonymous and you get your thinking fixed, right? Doing the steps shifts your perception so you can see things a little differently and you have tools to deal with life on life's terms. People like us cannot deal with life on life's terms. We have to drink and use or gamble, sex, work, whatever. We're gonna do something to treat this illness, okay? So without an adequate substitute, you're gonna drink again. So if you're white knuckling it tonight, you got, you got a matter of time. I mean, you might even be able to stay sober for one year. I don't know, but it's not gonna last. And all you're gonna think about is drinking. So you gotta get some help. You're gonna go to AA for help. You're gonna go to AA. A lot of you think just getting a sponsor is gonna help, but there's a lot of people that ask me for help and I invite them to go to a meeting with me so I can help them through the steps and they don't wanna go. So what are you willing to do to get sober? First, you gotta know what's wrong with you. And second, you gotta take some action. And it's not action you're gonna to wanna to take. It's not gonna hurt you, it's not gonna harm you. It's gonna deflate your ego, that's one. And that, that's a toughie, right? Ask for help and take directions. If I've given you a Zoom number and I've told you when I'm gonna be at meetings and you want help, show up. I'm going to a meeting in 26 minutes, right? <laughs> I told everyone, this is where I'll be. I will help you through the steps. We will read out of the big book. You will get an answer, right? You will get an answer to your problem how to treat your alcoholism so you don't have to drink anymore. But if you think this is, I'm not gonna drink and my life's gonna be fine and I'm gonna go on my merry way, that ain't, that ain't gonna happen. It doesn't happen. You're gonna get a life way beyond your wildest dreams, but you're gonna have to do some daily maintenance, just like we had diabetes and you had to go get, you know, get diabetes shots, right? Or you, you have, you need dialysis. I mean, you have to treat an illness. I'm sorry that you have it, but the good news, there's a spiritual answer. There's a spiritual answer. Other mental illnesses, there's not, right? The spiritual answer will help them, but they also probably need medicine, right? Schizophrenic, uh, you know, and, and lots of people say, well, I'm depressed, anxiety, depression, that bipolar, that's alcoholism. So to those people that posted that, you're not hopeless. You just don't know what's wrong with you, okay? The answer to your problems is in the first 164 pages of the big book of Alcoholics Anonymous. If you don't have a big book and you're not going to meetings, that's the first thing you wanna to wanna to do. Don't even think about the drinking. Get a big book. Let's get started. Lots of women gonna help you, but you gotta do the work. <laughs>